Today we are going to highlight one of my favorite Tinkercad YouTubers and I've got a way to use Sketch Tool with one of his designs. So let's get cracking. Friends, this is Chep, home of Filament Friday. If you've never been here before, of course, there will be a card that'll help you get to the channel. Chep has a ton of awesome projects and I checked out this one the other day. So, of course, I'm going to have a link to the video, but what Chep has got going is he wants to hang this up on the pegboard, and he designed a slick part to do it. You should watch his video. Of course, there will be a link. I do want to highlight, he brought out the tape measure, and he did the measuring of his pegboard. And then, of course, you can see here he got the measurements for the box that he's going to hang. Now what I want to highlight is the way it's built. This is the traditional way with cutting holes. Friends, I'm going to show you how to do this using Sketch. So let me walk you through the Sketch steps and why this is pretty cool. Of course, Chep busted out the ruler so that we can tell that this is 30 by 14 and a half. If we look closely, 3 millimeters this way, so that means it's 3 millimeters all the way around here. This one right here is 1 millimeter, and it looks like this chunk is likely 2 millimeters. Maybe this piece is 2 millimeters as well. Friends, let me show you how to build it in Sketch. Of course, step one is to visit Tinkercad.com. If you've never been there before, I always choose Sign In with Google. Today, we're going to start by clicking Create New 3D Design. Let's name the project Pegboard V2. I also want you to see that once you've done that, if you click back on the Tinkercad dashboard, this is what it looks like when a project is completed. They are saved to the cloud. You can get back in by simply clicking Tinker This. As I said in the intro, Tinkercad is usually built using solids. You can see we can squeeze these down to make shapes just like Chep had. This is called a whole shape. When you bring it out and you combine it with the other shape using control G, they group and make the little cutout. It is really slick and fun to work with, but I want to highlight how the sketch tool is a sweet upgrade. Of course, step one is to grab the sketch tool. When you bring it out, we want to get it right in a 20 by 20 spot. Notice it fits exactly. And what that does is it puts this crosshair right in the middle. Now in Sketch, we can draw with lines, Bezier curves, and we can erase. Well, we're going to make a template using the line tool. I'm going to click right here and I'm going to go up 30. Notice it shows me the dimension. And I want to go 14 and a half. Well, to get to a half, we need to switch to the half millimeter snap grid. Now I can easily move out here, get my 14 and a half, and then I'm simply going to just connect the lines for my template. When I click outside, it is finished. Now I can start drawing the real part inside that template using what we call multi-sketch. Hit P or click the pen nib to start. We're going to click on this piece and I'm going to guess that it's 9 millimeters high and I'm going to show you how to adjust it in a minute. So first, there's our 1 millimeter mark and then I think that this was a 3 millimeter size right here and of course 3 millimeters in right there. Now we can simply move up to the top of our part come across. I'm going to guess that this was five millimeters down. Of course, I'll show you how to adjust it in a minute. And then we need to just go back three. Now, because of our half millimeter nudge, that is super simple. This is two millimeters. I'm going to move back four and a half. So I've got three millimeters here. Once again, I'm going to come all the way down to the bottom. I'm going to just guess it stops there. Let's come out, move down. Once again, we need our three. Notice we can check that dimension as we make it. Here's our two. I can bring it back four, come down, and connect it. Boom. We have just made a shape similar to Chep's. Of course, I don't have my measurements exact. Now let me show you how easy it is to edit it. Let's move our template. We don't need that anymore. I'll just leave it over here. Now when we double click, we can see all of these lines. Say you wanted this measurement to be three, bing, bing, you can drag it down and you've got three millimeters right there. Now I think that was probably correct. I do think I want these lined up though. So notice I can just grab that line and snap it where it needs to go. If this was supposed to be one and a half, boom, that's how easy it is to adjust a sketch. Let me show you how slick the Bezier curves are too. We're going to hit add remove points, which is number four. I'm going to click right here. Notice it's a whole millimeter and a whole millimeter. And then I'm going to erase that one by clicking on it. 
So that would add a little bit of strength, but check this out. If we hit V to go back to edit mode and we double click that line, you have got an instant fillet. How cool is that? It's an easy way to add strength to your design. Once again, you can press the number four to get into edit mode. I'm gonna just add point here, here, and I'm gonna delete that one. Notice if you don't hit the letter V, it deletes them when you click on them. And once again, when you double click, bam, it makes the fillet that you would use to make that area stronger. Of course, you do need to make sure this fits the design that you're snapping in. I just want you to see how slick it is. Anywhere on the project, you can add those curves using the sweet Bezier Curve Tool. Now I'm gonna double click to finish that one and I'm going to delete this one. I have no use for it anymore. It was just the base template for a design when we hit Finish Sketch. Bam, there is the part. Now we do have to change the height. It was 10. We are gonna make it five like it was in Chep's original project. If you wanna learn more about Sketch, I've got an entire playlist. I will put a link to it right up here. Friends, as I wrap up, make sure you check out Chep's channel. Tons of amazing Tinkercad projects, code blocks, so many things that you really want to learn. I promise you won't be disappointed. I do also want to say thanks to everybody that support me with channel memberships, several different levels of perks, and of course, all support is appreciated. I do also want to thank my Patreon supporters. Love how that group is growing. Of course, you can learn more with the bit.ly up above or the link in the description. Finally, I want to thank you for watching. Don't forget every time you hit that like button, share a video, add a comment down below, or click subscribe. You're helping HL Mod Tech get just a little bigger, which absolutely makes my day. Friends, have a glorious day and keep tinkering.